So right now I'm wearing my Scobot, which is the wearable language revitalization robot. It senses motion through right here and it speaks from outside these holes here. Um, and the kids can design it uh, however they want. Let's get to know one another. In Taino, Haralu Anulia means what is your name? There's a lot of tech accessibility gaps, especially for indigenous communities. And this can regard everything from internet access, a lot of our communities do not have uh, Wi-Fi access, uh, to cost. A lot of tech opportunities are really expensive, like educational robots. Um, the one my sister was interested in and was required for a competition was $500 and um, representation as well. There's not a lot of indigenous peoples who are leaders in tech. And so when you're looking at role models, there's not a lot to see. Bonjour, hello, my name is Danielle Boye. I'm Ojibwe from the Sioux tribe, which is in the upper peninsula of Michigan. And I'm a youth robotics inventor. When I got to high school, I joined a robotics team. I was really excited and I really wanted to learn how to build robots and, and how to make things even more, right? But when I got there, I was one of the only girls and I got bullied really badly. I was the only native person as well. And so having that experience was, was scary and it, it made me want to stop pursuing what I was interested in. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. And my goal was to create safe learning spaces for people who are especially indigenous and girls. And so the first thing I did when I founded my charity was distribute um, and create my robot, Every Kid Gets a Robot, which is a robot that costs less than $20 and goes to kids for free. And I've sent out over 8,000 uh, free robots now. And they're like little um, cars that the kids can uh, put together, they can wire them and program them and drive them around with their phones. I think that as indigenous peoples, it is so important for us to implement caring for the land into every single thing that we do, whether it's designing robots, whether it's teaching. So the robots that we have currently are all made out of recycled plastic and they're 3D printed. And we have ones currently in testing with schools that are made out of biodegradable materials. And it's really awesome to see the kids come up with such cool ideas on how to support our earth through like engineering and tech. In creating my robots, I want them always to be accessible to my communities. A lot of reservations are in very rural areas. And so I invented the robot to run without internet access. And that is consistent with all of the robots I've invented. Are you ready? been able to roll it out to several tribal schools now where the students are able to record their own languages and the robot senses motion and speaks them and it can also like sing and do different things like that and it's gotten the kids really interested not only in tech but also learning our languages as well. It's been very difficult to preserve our languages because uh, especially during COVID, we lost many language speakers, we lost many elders, and we have seen such a, a systematic um, erasure of our languages over generations, and it is a very scary thing to see because we have many things like our medicines, we have things like our plants, our animals. You can't really talk about that in English. You have to talk about it in our language. And so when that loss is there, we're losing a part of ourselves. And so I think it is so important for us to be able to have access to learning our languages and that um, there should be more opportunities for people to learn. I think when a lot of people think of indigenous peoples, they see us purely in the past, as existing in the past, and they don't see our cultures and our communities surviving, existing, and thriving in the present. And that can be very discouraging sometimes because 
So much of us now are engineers, inventors, are creating really cool and awesome things, and people don't see that. And so when I, when I create the robots, I want people to be able to see that we are creating solutions now for our communities to uplift our communities um, based on the problems that we see and that we are creating beautiful and awesome things no matter what age we are, no matter what tribe we're from. And I really want people to recognize that we exist now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.